What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you guys a completely different type of video today. I know I'm a personal person that likes to play video games a decent amount when I can at least or when I feel up to it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to unstick buttons on a wired wireless controller. Same deal. It's really it's really no different. <clears throat> Just the only thing different obviously with the wireless controller which is this one, is that um, you just, uh, like when it comes to the triggers and stuff, all you're gonna wanna literally do here is just pop, uh, like there, there, you can literally just pry this right here. You kinda have to pry it a little bit. I'd probably use like a flathead screwdriver, or something like that, kinda pry at this, and then it pops off the shell right here. You can see uh, <clears throat> the uh, underneath the triggers and stuff, but <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and just do the, do the triggers, so. Me, I've noticed the most effective things to use is nail polish remover, peroxide, and then also alcohol as well too. It's something that's uh, really, really strong and powerful realistically. So we're gonna do the nail polish for the wireless. And then we're gonna do the uh, peroxide for the wired. So what you wanna do here is you wanna hold the, hold the button down as so. You just want to get as much as you can, just right all along the button. You want to try and get as much of this, like, basically as you can in the uh, crease of the button. There's people that have tried to say before that this uh, this method is not very um, effective. It, it definitely is. I've had to do this quite a few times with my uh, controllers with the, with its buttons and stuff, and. It has most definitely helped me. So, uh, yeah, guys, you're just going to want to take it as so. Just like this. You want to probably press it down some as you do it, as you can. <clears throat> All right, once you got that done, you already feel like your buttons have gotten a touch looser. I know my A button here is a little sticky, if you see, like, in comparison to the other buttons. What you want to do at this point is you're going to take a straw. It doesn't really matter what straw it is. It just has to be a, be a normal size straw. But the cut that you make on it with a pair of scissors will definitely vary. With this one, probably like a half of an inch cut that I put on it here. Because it's a pretty thick straw already as is. You're just going to want to take this straw now once you make your cut. As you see right here, it locks basically perfectly in. It locks perfectly into it. You're just literally going to take this straw. You're going to twist around as much as you can. It can have whatever might be in there. Dirt, grime, you know, some sticky stuff you got in there. Hey, shit, you can see right there, tiny bit, you can see it actually pulled a little bit out of it, just off of my A button. Because this, the, the, these straws I would recommend, a little bit thicker straws than usual, probably work the best, gets into the grooves of the buttons and the creases the best, I'd say. But yeah, you just want to twirl, twist maybe four or five times or so each button that you do i'm just doing the uh a x and d button already my a button feels a lot better but just for a little bit of reassurance we're going to go ahead and put this nail polish remover on here one more time again as so you can go around it a couple times several times how many ever times it um you deem necessary, I guess. I do it usually a couple. All right, and then, hell, we can even do the middle button here. We, yeah, we can do the middle button. Because the, these ones here are trickier. Usually these smaller buttons here don't get stuck, but if they do, um, you gotta use a lot, so a lot smaller of a straw. So for some buttons, straws don't work. But again, guys, um, if, if you didn't catch the first time, you always want to make sure that you got, don't cut too much from your straw when you split it, because if you do it too much and you're just going to have to use a new straw all over again, I mean, it's not a, it's not a big deal, but it makes it a little bit easier, I'd say. And like I said, you just want to twirl it three, four, five times or so. And this is something that, you know, not instantaneously are you going to see, uh, you know, constant, consistent results. But yeah, yeah, see, my A button is, is a lot faster already. It's something that just kind of eases it temporarily, but it's something that you want to do consistently. And then it's really, like I said before, it's really the same exact method with the um, 
wireless, but we're just gonna use a different, um, we're gonna use a different liquid here, peroxide rather than nail polish remover. And we're just gonna see which, which liquid is gonna be more effective. Again, as so, you wanna push it in, get some good rubs on there. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. Some good, good rubs in there. All right, so we got that. And then yet again, the straw, the straw should fit for really almost all the buttons. This one's a little bit tougher because these are the newer Elite controllers, so the buttons are kind of a little bit, a little bit weird. I'd say they definitely go don't go down nearly as deep as like a wired controller does, but. Yet again, it's it's just the same repetitional process. Just trying to see which one here actually does work best. Because honestly, uh, both of them work um, really well for me. Historically, yeah, these these buttons feel amazing now. They, they they weren't too sticky or anything like that, but a little bit. There was a little stick to the Y button here, and they they're they're great now. And then um, what we're gonna go do ahead and do here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the middle button as well too. A little bit around there. Uh, so it's a little bit tougher to get the middle button. But this one, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna split the other side of the straw. We're gonna go about a little bit more than what we did for um, the button itself or the buttons themselves. This one you gotta pry out a little bit. This this doesn't like to get in there good. Because with this you're gonna get in there about half of the way. And what you wanna do is you just wanna keep twirling and twirling and twirling. It doesn't work to just put the whole thing in there for the middle button, I'm not sure why, but you're gonna wanna get like one of the halves of the straw as so. You're just gonna wanna twirl it as much as you can around and around. And again, middle button feels better as well too. Yeah, guys, this is how you um, definitely unstick your buttons. Like I said, it's not something necessarily that will happen instantaneously. It's definitely something that I would do if I were you on a um, repetitional basis for sure. But it, it definitely is effective, like I said. And like my A button, not kidding, was really sticky before I just did this. Uh, before I just did this video, and it feels substantially better than what it did. Same with the uh, wireless. I mean wireless controllers are always usually a little better anyways but yeah see there's really no stick to them whatsoever now um and then if you guys end up liking this video want me to do more of these types of videos i could also do a uh video on the uh the wireless controller like popping the shell off of it off the sides here and then like showing you guys how to like clean out your triggers and stuff or if your triggers and stuff like that are you know sticky and stuff try to try to give you guys some decent good tips with that but again, hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe for more. Let me know if you like these videos or want me to do more of them. Or if you just kind of want me to stick to what I've been doing. But yeah, again, guys, hope you like the video. Like, subscribe for more.